Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Let's look at how to change or give yourself a unique IP address for your Mac running macOS Sierra, which is the latest macOS available at this time. So let's look at how to do that right after this. All right, so on your Mac, you wanna go into System Preferences. So down the bottom here in my dock, I've got system preferences. I can also just go into the Apple logo on the top left corner here and go click on that and then system preferences from there. So let's just open up system preferences and we want to find network. All right. So you'll have a number of different options. Network will be listed just here. And then you'll have a few different options on the left here. You may have likely you'll have a Wi-Fi on a Mac. You may also have an ethernet if you're plugged in with a blue network cable. Essentially, you wanna select the one that is active, the one that is live at the moment, or the one that you know you use. You know, whether you're using Wi-Fi or whether you're plugged in with a network cable. If it's Wi-Fi, you select Wi-Fi. If it's connected to the network cable, you'll select the one that's called ethernet. Now, for the purpose of this, we're gonna just select Wi-Fi. You'll already see that I've got my IP addresses listed here, 172.16.1.1 and we want to click on advanced down the bottom here. From within here, we want to select TCP IP, okay? There'll be a few options in here. Most of the time, you will have by default, under this dropdown, it will be set to using DHCP, such as this. And what that is doing is that is going out onto your network, it's finding a router that you've probably got on your home network, perhaps the router that gives you the internet access to come into your computer, into your house or into your, you know, into your business or what have you. Um, and that is giving you an IP address uh, dynamically. So that IP will always change, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna set up what's called a static IP and actually go and change this so that your Mac will always have the same IP every single time. So in this dropdown, you wanna select manually. Click on that, and then we want to set up your manual IP address. Now, this can be an IP address that you choose, but it has to be in a range that will work on your network. So we're not going to go into the specifics of what range to choose. Most of the time, it'll be something around a 192.168.0. something or a dot one dot something. These are what's called uh, these are called private IP ranges. So you can set IPs in the 192.168.1 or, or zero ranges, in the 172.16 ranges, and then the 10 ranges. These are private, which means that you've got no fear really of having a network out on the internet somewhere conflicting with this IP address. So I've just selected a 172 range because that's what I like to use. So I'm gonna set it to 172.16.1.1 and I want my router to be listed in there as well. So you're gonna manually put in your subnet mask, which will be 255.255.255.0 most of the time. May not always be that case, but again, if you're just starting off, just set it all as 255.255.255.0 as your subnet mask. And then your router will be the IP address of your router or your gateway, okay? So if you know your router's IP address, you wanna put that in there. So if your router's IP address is in the 10 range, if it's 10.0.0.1, you wanna make sure that your IP address is in that same range, 10.0.0.5. And then this can be what that, you know, what that would be, 10.0.0.1. If your router is 192.168.1.254, then you want to set this to 192.168.1 dot whatever you want, 10, and that will be your IP address. Now, because my router is 172.16.1.254, I'm going to set my IP address to 172.16.1 dot, and then your fourth number will be whatever you want within uh, the ranges of 1 and 253, because obviously 254 is being used up, well, it's invalid because I haven't put it in yet because one zero doesn't exist, but we're gonna go one, okay? And that is gonna be my IP address. Obviously, the, the, the problem that you may have, um, if you're not careful, is you may have duplicate IPs on your network if you don't know what the IP addresses are of your other devices. So if you know for a shadow, you know, without shadow of a doubt, 
that 172.16.1.1 is not in use by any other devices, then you can go ahead and set it. If you've got you know, phones and, and smart TVs and other devices on your network, check what their IP addresses are before you go in here and set a static IP. Because if you set the static IP to an IP address that's been used on another device, then you're gonna have an IP conflict and you're gonna have network problems. But that is the simple steps on how to set that up. Once you've put it in, click on OK and apply and you are good to go. And that will be how to set up a static IP on macOS Sierra. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, just on the button there for more videos.